Hi, welcome to Guitar Time. We're going to start with um, number one on. and go right through number ten. These are uh, chord progressions that I wrote for my students, and, and I have PDFs for all these, uh, to learn basic open chords and learn strumming patterns. So that's what I'm primarily going to talk about. But I also colorize these in a way that these charts I have that give us intervals so that we can study the intervals in these chords. So if you're able to download the PDFs for the chord progressions 1 through 10, you'll be able to actually see these chord progressions. They're all 8-bar progressions. So they could be like folk songs. Some of them you might hear like songs, but they were actually to get you acquainted with these open chords and to get you reading a chord chart in measures and counting in 4-4 four, four time and different rhythms and learning to tap your foot and count. So the first chord progression, I, I, I asked my students to memorize this chord progression, if they can, and the fingerings of the chords, and just we start with a down strum and counting. So the, the first thing, I'm going to hold the guitar a little unorthodox so you can see my fingers, okay? So here we go. Here's the, the C chord, okay? So I'm going to take that C chord, you know, I have my first finger in C, E, and C, and I'm going to strum five notes, and I'm just going to go down. So here's the chord progression number one. when I switch chords, I come up, down. You want to learn to put all your fingers down at one time. So I come up, down. The finger placement. We've got to get our fingers on the tip portions next to the fret. So, I went through that several times. I did the down strum, and I was kind of moderately playing. You might be starting a lot slower on this. But I wanted to say that you're really, at some point, you're following the chart that you have and seeing the eight bars of 4-4 four, four time, meaning that you're counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 for every chord change. But when you learn chords, you've got to get good sound. And I'm looking to get all of my fingers next to the fret. 
The A minor chord, well, I can't get my second finger, but I can get my third finger and first finger next to the fret. D minor, I can get all fingers next to the fret. I'm kind of veering in. I'm not on the very tips, but I'm veering. Nails pointing out that way. G chord, I've got all, every finger right up next to the fret. My baby finger's up here, it's not hiding down there, okay? E minor is usually an easy chord. Sometimes I give people this chord as their first chord, big chord to learn, because you've got a second finger on B, third on E, and the third finger is right next to the fret. A minor, you just drop those fingers down and add the first finger. Little F chord is usually difficult for people because you have to bar that first finger. You want your nail going that way. You're kind of on the side. You're veering in. So, so you have your C and F barred. Your second finger comes in, and then your third finger comes to F. And that's a four-note chord. F, A, C, F. You have to really press and work on good sound. And then your G7 is a six-note chord. So that's a big chord. Two, uh, three, two, open, 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 one. Another thing about chords, with all these progressions, you ought to be able to spell the chords. When I say spell, I mean know the note names. So if I was to ask you C chord, and you would say, well, I have a C, an E, an open G, a C, an E, then I come backwards. C, open G, E, C, C chord. A minor, open A, and I have an E, an A, a C, open E, C, A, E, A. The D minor chord, open D, A, D, F, D, A, open D. G chord, G, B, D, G, B, G, B, G, D, B, G. E minor. E, B, E, G, B, E, D, G, E, B, E. So I'm spelling the chords. So you must know the names of your notes, and later you will know the intervals of these chords. I will tell you that the lowest note of every chord is what we call the root note. So if you learned your notes well, and you see that C chord, C is the lowest note the bass note of the chord. A, open A, is the bass note, the root of the A minor chord. D, the open D string, is the root of the D minor chord. The G, the lowest note of the G chord on the E string, that G is the root. Open E is the root of E minor. Little F chord, that, that F, the lowest note of the chord, is the root. G of G7. So I hope that helps you. You need to be tapping your foot with your count. One, two. Now I'm going to go very slow this time. I'm going to count the way you should count while you're strumming. Now I've been working on the chords. I've got my fingers good. And I'm doing well. So now I've got to count very slow. And I'm just going to do down. I'm going to tap my foot. One, two, three. Very even. Four. One, two, three, 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 four. One, two, three. going to do the down up. One and two and three and four and 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 one two and three and Three.
I should keep repeating that. Now, when you first work on these and you're new to chords, you may not be able to do that fast. It may be a lot slower because you're you're getting your fingers on the right notes, you're strumming, you got to thinking about your right hand as well as your left hand, the finger placement, and this nice strumming of the strings. Being able to let your pick roll down on those strings. I'm not using much pick, very, very little of this pick. The very tip of that pick, I'm just letting it roll across the strings. And it's kind of like I'm painting. I'm painting down. I've got my E minor chord. I'm down, up, down. I don't want to, you know, beat it or anything. I don't need to do that, but just nicely strum. So that sounds pleasant down. So that's a nice exercise, just strumming that A minor for a while. And you might go through each chord and strum each chord. So your fingertips have to get used to chords, pressing. If your guitar is set up well, in good shape, it'll sound good. Nylon strings are real easy to play on, usually. Steel strings maybe uh, are a little more harder on the fingertips when you first learn. But sometimes you may even be starting on little chords, like a little C chord, a three-note C chord, th a three-note G chord, three-note G7, and then you can grow into these bigger chords. But once you've gotten to work on with these chords and the strumming and you feel good about a steady count, keeping that tempo steady, at whatever speed you set, you have to stay at that. And you have to play to it. And you have to practice till you can make the changes of the chords on time to your count, to your footbeat. So this is about rhythm, timing, but the physical part of your right and left hand getting your chords. So there's quite a few things involved when you're first learning to strum and strum chords. Now the other thing is at some point you learn to do finger placement and these chords grow up into other forms and all these wonderful things happen with these chords. But the chords I just strum, there's thousands of songs written on just those chords. So this is a great exercise to start with. You, I would say feel real good about strumming on chord progression one before you go to two. So, I wish you good, and look at my other videos. I have other videos on chord progression one, where we go into strumming, and I get into other uh, ideas and uh, studies with strumming and strumming these chords. So, if you can memorize it, it helps. Saying the, the names of the chords while you're strumming, like C, I'm going to do it a little faster. C, A minor, E minor, G. I'm actually thinking about the E minor before I even get to it. A minor. Before I get to the F, I'm ready for it. G7. So I know that I'm strumming G7, but I'm ready to for that C chord because it starts the progression again. I'm playing C, but I'm ready. I'm thinking about where I've got to go for that A minor. I'm planning ahead of time for that D minor and that G chord. Oh, yeah. Down strums. Down. Now I'm going to do down up. You can mix it up later. And then maybe down, down. Do down, up, down, up. I'm gonna do down. And you can, you know, eventually get fast. So this was chord progression number one. Practice. You can do it. Practice makes perfect.